another day, another story. On February 3, 2023, a Norfolk Southern train carrying hazardous chemicals derailed in East Palestine, Ohio. Three days later, on February 6, the company began a controlled release of the chemicals after fears of a large explosion began to grow. After the crash, local residents and communities expressed health and environmental concerns. Viral videos and photographs spread claiming to show the crash and its aftermath, including videos of dead fish near the crash site. Those pictures and videos were analyzed. Claims were also made about how many people live in the larger region surrounding where the crash occurred, and how they might be impacted. A failed wheel bearing led to the derailment of a Norfolk Southern train in East Palestine, Ohio. The National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, said Thursday. People in East Palestine, Ohio, have been waiting for answers since the February 3 incident about why 38 of the 149 cars derailed including some that were carrying toxic chemicals. A subsequent fire caused damage to 12 other cars. After pressure began to increase inside the train cars, officials conducted a controlled burn to release the chemicals into the environment and prevent an explosion. Since the derailment, East Palestine residents have reported what appears to be chemicals rising from creek beds, dead animals and concerning physical side effects. The train derailed after crews attempted to stop it to inspect the axle. The wheel bearing has been collected and will be examined by NTSB engineers in the NTSB Materials Laboratory in Washington, D.C. Operations were suspended for about a week because of the derailment and subsequent release of vinyl chloride, a carcinogenic chemical on board the train that was intentionally burned to avoid the risk of an explosion. People ended up with rashes, nausea, vomiting, bloody nose, eye issues and a lot of coughing, wheezing. A lot of workers were sent to the hospital to get checked out and, sure enough, in most cases, it was a diagnosis of chemical bronchitis. They were put on five different kinds of pills, including steroids. Some guys have to use inhalers. People from that area have symptoms consistent with chemical exposure. The people are complaining of burning to their lungs, nasal drainage, eyes burning, throat pain, unknown rashes that have started since they've been back to their homes. It's pretty bad. These can be symptoms of chemical exposure, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, which has sent a team to East Palestine to interview residents and investigate potential health issues. The Environmental Protection Agency said East Palestine's municipal water was safe to drink. Indoor air quality screenings from more than 550 homes did not exceed safety standards, and air quality in the community remains normal, the EPA said. Norfolk Southern Railway said in a statement that it is committed to doing what's right for the residents of East Palestine. The company has offered $8 million in donations or financial assistance thus far. Some residents have asked, how can you say our air quality or our water is safe when we're having all these people with these symptoms and health issues? China mocks US for focusing spy balloon during train derailment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share.